Hi everybody. Even though it's still winter here, our chickens are still laying a lot of eggs. So today I'm going to use a couple of these to make a very simple mayonnaise. For this recipe, we're going to use just four simple ingredients. We're going to be using two egg yolks. We're going to use some vinegar, some vegetable oil, and just a pinch of sea salt. Now I'm using what I have on hand. You can substitute lemon juice in place of the white vinegar that I'm using. You can use a different type of oil. Um, I'm using vegetable oil because it's what I have on hand. It's recommended to use an oil that is more of a neutral flavor, not something that is heavy in flavor like an avocado oil or even an olive oil it has a very distinct taste to it. Um, now, if you like that and you want to use that kind of oil, that's also fine. You can add other things into this if you'd like. You can use um, a Dijon mustard or a ground mustard and there's all other kinds of things you can add in to make the mayonnaise your own, but this is a great base to start with. So I have my bowl and my whisk ready and the first step is going to be to separate my eggs. I want to separate the yolks from the whites. We're going to be using the yolks and I'm going to save the whites, throw them in my fridge and I'll use those later because nothing in this household goes to waste. So I'm using two large eggs and I'm just going to separate those out. Now I'm using a separator. You can do this any way you like. Some people are really good at doing it with just the shell. I'm just using a good old fashioned Tupperware egg separator. So we're gonna get these separated and into the bowl and then we'll get on to the next step. So our next ingredient is going to be two teaspoons of vinegar. Now I'm using a white vinegar. You can also use, as I said, you can use lemon juice, you can use a white wine vinegar. There's a lot of different variations depending on what flavor you're looking to have in your mayonnaise. But keep in mind, depending what you use, it may affect the flavor. So making a small batch at a time is good if you're trying something new so you don't make a big batch of something that it turns out you don't like. So let's get our two teaspoons of vinegar in with our two egg yolks. All right, there's one and two. And my next step is going to be to whisk these together. So I'm gonna whisk these until they get frothy and then we'll add our next ingredient. All right, so I have my vinegar and my egg yolks all whisked together. So my next ingredient is going to be my cup of uh, vegetable oil. Like I said, there are other oils you can use. I'm using a vegetable oil. It's what I had on the shelf. Now this is probably the most important part of adding mayonnaise is adding your oil. So what I'm going to be doing is adding this very, very slowly. I'm going to start with just a drop at a time and I'm going to whisk it while I'm putting that in and then I can, once it starts to incorporate and thicken, I can add the oil a little bit quicker. Um, something to keep in mind that's important is if your oil starts to puddle up as you're whisking it together, stop adding any more oil, whisk it real brisk, and then once you've got that incorporated, you can start adding your oil again. So I'm going to start with just a little bit at a time and get this all whisked in. I'm going to switch hands because I am not a lefty. Now that this is starting to thicken up a bit, I can add the oil in larger amounts. It's only been about a minute or two, and I'm just adding it a little bit quicker. I just want to make sure it doesn't pool up, and it's not. It's whisking in really good. So I'm going to keep this going until I finish up, and I'll be right back with you. So we're down to the last little bit of oil and at this point I can just pour this last bit in, make sure I've got all of it, and then I'm just going to whisk this really good for just a minute, get this all incorporated in. Okay. 
So now, this is the mayonnaise. It still looks a little bit thin, so I'm going to whisk it a little more, I think. But before I do that, I'm going to add just a pinch of sea salt. Just a pinch. There we go. Now, you could do this differently. You could use an immersion blender. You could use a food processor. Um, some people use a blender. The thing that um, I would be most concerned about is you can do something that's called break your mayonnaise. Um, if you whisk it too long, too hard, too fast. And that happens with your blenders and your food processors. So now that I get the salt in, I'm going to whisk it a little bit more. And then I'll get this into another bowl so you can see how it turned out. Okay, once this is done and you've whisked it enough, you should see ribbons left by your whisk in your mayonnaise or little trails. Um, so now that this is done, I'm going to get this into another container so you can see what it looks like and we'll give it a taste. All right, put it all in the, into our jar. And even though this may not be the same thickness as your store may mayonnaise, it is nice and thick. And from what we just made, we ended up with not quite a pint of mayonnaise. So not bad at all. Just with two eggs, some oil, some vinegar, and a little bit of salt, we made some homemade mayonnaise. So now, I've got a little bit here left on the spoon. Very good. I think what I'm going to use this for is I think I'm going to make some homemade potato salad tonight. So, if you like videos like this, if this is something you'd like to see us do more of, please make sure you leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. Remember to give us a, a subscribe and ring that bell if you want to see more of our videos. And until next time, everybody, take care.